Also out this weekend on a much less uh, important scale is this weird little thing, Paranoia. Paranoia has got what can only be described as a star-studded cast, including Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman and Lynn Hemsworth. The story it's is... pretty good. I know, you'd think, right? Mm -hmm. So the story is, there's this young guy, he's a kind of a bit of a computer whiz, he wants to get on in the computer world, but he becomes embroiled in a fight between Gary Oldman and Harrison Ford, who between them are these sort of warring behemoths, and he's a pawn in their battle. Here's a scene with him and Gary Oldman doing his best old English accent. Now, there's two ways we can play this. Are you a horse or a dog? A horse is motivated by fear. He's running from the whip. The whip here being felony fraud. He's a dog. A dog is motivated by hunger. He's chasing the rabbit. His next meal. You were raised in a low-income home in Brooklyn. Your mother died when you were seven. Your W-2 says you now support your father. So? So, it means you came across that bridge every day, hungry to succeed. Yeah, everyone wants to succeed. Yeah, well, not like us. Your father spent 32 years as a, a security guard. I mean, where's the ambition in that? What's this about? You want more out of life. I grew up like you. I mean, different streets, same dream, but nobody gave it to me. No one. And what if I told you I could make you rich and give your friends their jobs back? Excuse me while I just remove the scenery from between my teeth. I mean, the funny thing about the film is it absolutely bombed in America. It cost something like 35 million. I think it took something like 3.5. It's one of those examples of a film which performed catastrophically in the States. You know, there was a long uh, idea, there's an idea that you can only lose money on uh, one kind of film, which is the mid-budget film. If you make a very low-budget film, you won't lose money. You make a very expensive film, you won't lose money. But if you make something that's kind of mid-range, you probably will. And in the case of this, having seen it, it's going, it, it is on its way to the video shelves really, really fast. It is literally just putting its head into the cinema door going, all right, and then it's going straight to the video shelves uh, by Monday, I think. And having watched it, um, you know, knowing that it was disastrous and terrible and all over the place and the worst thing in the whole world, you watch it and go, well, it's rubbish, but I mean, I've seen worse rubbish because there are bits in it in which Gary Oldman does that thing and there are bits in it in which Harrison Ford does entire speeches in which his voice is so slow. And you go, OK, well, that's past 90 minutes of my life that I won't ever get back again. And it is utter nonsense and tosh and, you know, and rubbish. But... If you were on a plane and, you know, you had like half an hour to spare, you could dip in and out of it. I mean, yes, it's rubbish, but it's it's just funny that it, it has failed so spectacularly when there's another film out this week that is way more rubbish than that, which we haven't got to yet. Uh, are you promising us that in the next hour? Yeah. I mean, that would be something to really look forward mm -hmm. to, something that's even more rubbish. Yeah, even more rubbish than Paranormal. Which is, Gary which Oldman is, just... is so watchable. I though, know, right? I know. And he's doing that, he's doing that, he's doing that thing. He's been a bit wide, he's been a bit way, a bit whoa, a bit wide. And Harrison Ford is being... You can get in touch as Mark slides off his seat as a treat for the webcam viewers. This is...